Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Tarot Tuesday Pick Your Own Deck or Card video. This is one of my favorite things to do. I have many tarot card decks and I have a few here that maybe you've never seen me use before. But basically the game today is going to be tell me which of these four that you're interested in and I will pull a card for you. So simply going to just connect with the audience. I hope you are having a wonderful Tuesday as usual. May all of these messages bring upliftment to you and the rest of humanity the best that they can. And I'm excited to play with these decks with you. So there is one, two, three, four. And if you're watching this on a recording, please just fast forward to any point in time in this video to get your message as usual. So thank you all for the opportunity to serve you as your mystical tarot reader today. We love Tuesdays. So I see the first card coming in from, and so we're going to start with this one. We begun. So we have the, this is the Fall of Civilization card. This is a past life card. And so just so you know, you're going to be focusing on the traumas and the dramas of this particular theme. And there is your first card. Who's next? We have the Blue Cross Wheel. This one. Let's see what's next. Five of Swords. This is about sneakiness, conflict, defeat, competition, and ego. We are hoping that you are going to try and be the mediator while everyone around you is fighting. So good message. Nice one. I see number one next. So let's see what crystal you get. Terminalized quartz. Get out of your own way. Excellent message. Very nice. Number three is next. All right, we've got the swindler, <laughs> which you can see there's other words around the edge here. So whatever your eye is drawn to first, go there. So the swindler. So if you're being swindled or maybe you're swindling somebody, you know, smart enough over there. These cards are definitely the most savage. So just so you know, number four is next. Excellent. The Lover's Card. One That's great. Fantastic. Partnership, deep love, duality, union, commitment. Excellent. The Lover's Card represents healthy relationships, balance, and harmony. It's symbolic of the unity in a relationship. Ah, very beautiful. Good card. Good card. Nice one. Nice one. We've got two next. The first Egyptian card. Very nice. Who's coming in? Kefri. I actually don't know this one, but look, it's the scarab. Excellent. This is means change number 18. Take all these messages. Do the extra research. This is an activation for you. Take it how you need to. We also got a lovely sun disc here. Wonderful. Nice one. Egypt, please. Oh, we're going to do another Egypt one. Excellent. Let's see who's next. Sekhmet and Justice is next. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, this is beautiful. Number 17. Wonderful. Excellent card. Excellent card. Another sun disc and some lions, of course. Very good card. Good choice. Excellent choice. You're very welcome. Number three. Oh, this one you can already see, so I'll do both sides. So this is the loss of a loved one card. Again, this is the past life. Uncover your past life oracle. So this is sort of stuff that you want to deal with that perhaps happened in a past life that you're working through. You can see the other themes around the edge also. But on the back side, we also have the Crusades and the Inquisition as well as hypothermia that was coming through and potentially a fair energy. So just processing that, processing it. You picked it, process it, do whatever you need to do. That was what you're guided to. I have no judgment. Excellent. We've got number one coming through. Let's do number one. Ah, Rhodonite, the crystal. Very good. I have 
some rhodonite around here. Actually, no, I have one that's close, but I don't have a rhodonite piece. Ugh, what I would love to is like my favorite color. Find a way to forgive is the message of this card. So please do find a way to forgive. Forgiveness frees you from all of that pain. So uh, just imagine, you know, a little child just being like, I forgive you to whoever because they, they want to be busy playing. They're done holding a grudge, you know. Uh, very clever. We have somebody requesting a number five. Uh, there is no five. <laughs> so what do you get? You get a bonus. Let's see out of the bonus bag. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This is my doodads. What did you get? Oh, you got the bubble tea squishmallow. So let's see what this one is. It says, hard to read, a very big heart brings joy wherever she goes. Big, beautiful, be big beaming smile. And whenever you're hanging out with Jacaria, you can't help but smile too. So I have a whole bag of nifty doodads over here and stuff. So if people are getting a little, you know, bored, we got that too. Territorial, please. Okay, excellent. Card pile number four. We've got the judgment card, number 20. Reflection, awakening, transition, decisions, change. Also Libra energy. <laughs> we have the upright position. This is basically people being brought out of the grades. This is kind of like the the ascension card, like the horns are being blown, the game's over, and you're being judged, you're being sorted. <laughs> Number three, okay. You're very welcome. Let's see what's next. Oh, uh, we've got the World War card, which also has the Allied Defender, Allied Invader. We have the Holocaust on here and Hiroshima on here. So a lot of energy from this card. Again, past life cards, pretty intense, but hey, these messages matter too. I love these cards. So thank you. Very nice. Very nice. And for those of you here, those of you watching and enjoying, please like my page, set notifications so you can get my live streams. And if you're interested, you can go to my Patreon, sign up, and you will get notified when I do fun videos like this. But let's continue. Hello and welcome, welcome. All right, I'm going to pull one for... <laughs> Who's next? Who wants a card next? Pile one, two, three, four. I'm going to pull one. Okay, I want to do this one. Next card. We have Bastet, number 16, Passion. Passion. Excellent. Excellent. I am very passionate about doing these readings and doing live streams and connecting. Very love this card. Very nice. Beautiful. So far. All right. You have to pick a pile. One, two, three, or four. That helps me out. Number four is next. I see. We have, ooh, we've got the reversed Queen of Cups. So this is about self-care martyrdom, insecurity, and dependence. This is a sign that there needs to be more focus on your spirituality and mental health. Tend to your deepest needs to ensure that you, uh, you're you well enough to take care of others. Your emotions are getting the best of you. And the proper side is being loving, intuitive, psychic, calm, spiritual, and tender-hearted. The cups is all about emotion. It's the most thoughtful, loving, and intuitively empathic card. All right, number three, here we go. Ooh, we've got the religious devotion past life. So we have reverent, mystical, extremist, and evangelical. So you may want to be processing this past life to serve you most at this time. If you got this card, wonderful, very beautiful. Religious devotion isn't so bad, you know, but it definitely, all these things definitely have had their stings. You're very welcome. Number one, we're getting a crystal card. 
Who's next? Ooh, we've got adventuring. Beautiful. I love the picture of this adventuring. Create your own luck, it says. Create your own luck. And may you go do so, of course. Just tell yourself, I am lucky because I am. And you are. You are the I am. So don't worry. All luck is part of you. You got this. Of course, you're very welcome. All right, one through four. Who's next? <laughs> Number four. Okay, here we go. The King of Wands. Wonderful card. Motivation, leadership, entrepreneurship. The King of Wands groups grasps a blossoming wand which represents creativity and life. Their throne and cape are adorned with lions and salamanders, symbols of fire and strength. The King of Wands is a natural born leader of people, very capable and confident in their abilities. The king, isn't in, it, the king isn't interested in creativity per se, but rather taking an idea and enlisting others to help with the actualization of this idea. You have a clear vision of what, about what you want. Very fire sign, very nice, very nice. Number three, I see next. All right, this is a past life card, so here we go. Oh, brainwashing. I <laughs> love that. I haven't seen this one yet. We've got political brainwashing, religious brainwashing, social brainwashing, and, you know, other, whatever it is. So please work on clearing this out. Maybe this is your karma for this lifetime. Maybe this is what's been bugging you. But it's your brain and treat it well. Proteins and fats are good for your brain. Keep you steady. There you go. Of course, number three. We've got another one. But past life cards are popular. And you're very welcome, of course. Charity is the next one. All right. Charity is your card. The benefactor, the patron, the beneficiary and the Good Samaritan. Thank you all so much. This is a great one. So this is a past life that you're clearing, bringing through to this life. Keep that in mind, keep that in mind. All right, number two, we've got an Egyptian card. Who's next? We've got Ta, number 15, Skill. <laughs> skill. I feel like these cards aren't shuffled. I did just take them out of the box. I thought I had shuffled them, but I guess not. <laughs> I might just shuffle them right now. But yes, number 15. I act So definitely look this guy up. Check it out. And get that energy in. Very nice choice. I'm going to shuffle these guys now because you all know which one's next. <laughs> All right, we've got another request for pile number two. Newly shuffled. Here we go. Number 30, we've got a, mu a moot. Devastation. Excellent. Definitely look up this god and do a little research. But if you're feeling devastated, you may enjoy reading about this because usually the solutions are also written. So keep track, keep an eye on that. All right. <laughs> uh, we've got a little space. So I'm going to grab one from the random bag here. Whoops, one sec. Here we go. So just one little message is, I am still growing, is the message. Next message, very nice. We've got number four coming in. Number four, here we go. The Three of Cups, wonderful card, good choice. Friendship, community, support, happiness, celebration. <laughs> Three people joyfully celebrating with cups raised in the air, their hair decorated with floral wreaths representing success and victory. This card represents beauty, growth, compassion, and happiness. Very good choice. Very good choice. Love that. Love that. All right, let's get another random one. 
Pick a card, you guys. Pile one, two, three, or four. Ooh, we've got kindness is cool is the next message. Kindness is cool. Very good. Very good. <laughs> ah, yes. We've got pile number three next. Ooh. Murder. Oh, man. The Uncover Your Past Life Oracle is the most savage one I've owned so far. It's so fun. All right, so you may be dealing with murder and dealing with that sort of past life issue. We've got the murdered, we've got suicide, we've got murderer, and we've got the witness. So any of those particular themes might be important to you from this card. Very important, very intense. We've got pile number two next. Let's see who's here. Noom is here, number 21, resourcefulness. And I'm sorry if I mispronounce some of these. I'm not fully versed in the Egyptian gods and all their names, but I'm working on it. So if you guys are like, oh, wow, she's butchering that. Well, I was born and raised in North America, so we're working on it. I buy things so I can learn as well. <laughs> I'll check it out. But very nice, number 21, resourcefulness. Look at all of these. This is great. Very good. Check out all these symbols, whatever's pulling to you on these cards, and whatever colors, also look those up, please. Excellent. Number four. Who's next? Oh, the Hierophant. Very good choice. Very good choice. Religion, ethics, tradition, marriage, education. The Hierophant signifies the formal figure of religious organization. Their right hand is raised as an act of benediction, and their left hand carries a triple cross associated, associated traditionally with the Pope. Beneath the figure is two acolytes, acolytes denoting the transfer of sacred knowledge. You're transferring a lot of sacred knowledge right now. The Hierophant is in an upright position is telling you to embrace the conventional and follow the rules. Stay the course and avoid attempts at innovation. <laughs> Good card. Good card. Good card. We've got number three. Okay, next. We've got a past life coming through. Which past life are you dealing with? Ooh, the Wisdom Keeper. Very nice. We've got the Wise Person, the Well-Informed, the Wounded Healer, and the Enlightened. Beautiful card. Definitely look up symbolism about the moon, about the owl, moon goddesses in general that may help you recover some of your own strengths from your past life very nice next one we've got we've got the request for a seven so i'm going to pull a random one out of this bag Let's see what we get oh oh we've got the wheel of fortune these are all stickers so if i ever see you guys in person i'm giving you a sticker wheel of fortune very cute, very cute. So the Wheel of Fortune means that you have entered a new phase of your life, a fortunate new phase of growth and opportunity. Congratulations. Very good card. Toss that one back in there. Shake it up. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to just reach over and grab one of these crystals out of here. See who we get. Ah, uh, we've got some agate here, so check out the meaning for agates. The person watching this right now, that's your message right now, and maybe collect some and get some into your collection. Very nice, very nice. Very good. Okay, next card we're going to do... Hmm, actually I'm going to burn, or maybe I should burn a little something. Oh, I don't have my lighter, never mind. We aren't burning anything. Everything's staying unburned right now. Number three. Very nice. Number three, a past life that you should think about. We've got the military. <laughs> uh, we already had a card similar to this, but in specific to the military, we've got infantry, navy, air force, and weapons development. So with this particular card, you are to focus on your military past lives and the past lives of all of us humans who have endured these themes in the military. Very nice. Number four. Let's see. The Emperor. 
Very beautiful. Leadership, promotion, structure, law, and order. So the emperor sits atop a, a ram adorned, adorned throne on a barren mountain to represent the sterility of regulation. This card signifies powerful influence, leadership, self-discipline, and perseverance through the power of action. You are in control and your hard work has brought you great rewards. Now find yourself taking on new responsibilities. Now is a great time to take on projects and hobbies requiring more mental fortitude. You also may want to deal with Mars, Aries, and fire energy. That may be of very much importance to you. Very good. Very good card. <laughs> Let's do another random one. All right, pick a pile between one, two, three, and four, you guys. And in the meantime, let's see what we've got. Who is this? Don't panic, says the card. Very nice. This looks familiar. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy sort of energy. Very nice. Number one, we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stars. So this is a nine energy also. Very cool. Very cool card. That's a random one. All right, we've got pile number two next. Sashat, my favorite. Very nice. Number 31, Wisdom. The female scribe god, goddess, I should say, of Egypt. So very nice if you aren't writing things down, if you aren't writing your dreams down, if you aren't writing your thoughts down and sharing them or recording the changes around you and in your environment, you certainly should consider that very much. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, we're gonna pull from, car, from pile one. It's been a little while. All right, we've got Epidot. Go deeper is the message. Go deeper, have some depth. Get a little bit more depth to your personality, some charisma. Go into deeper meditation. Try and get some feedback. I got an incredible, I had an incredible meditation the other day. Literally, somebody blew up a firework outside the house, and I have no idea why. When I was asking a question in meditation, and that scared everybody, but definitely made me feel like I knew what I was doing. All right. Number two, let's see, set, we've got set, number eight, and resentment, theme of resentment, so certainly take that in, take that to heart, think about the resentment in your heart, let it go, don't resent them anymore, have a new day, give someone else a new chance, let it go, engage your inner child, do something fun, look up this Egyptian god also. Very nice, very nice. You're here. Ah, yes, yeah. She has, that's what she has on her head. That's right. That's why. <laughs> that's why you get super inspired, you know, by the plant. She's, that's why she's my favorite. All right, pick a pile. One, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four. Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, I'm going to pick from the random bucket. This one's for all of us. The wine. Interesting. So we're going to deal with the themes of the wine. It has been a while since I've had some wine. Love, love the idea. Love that it's in the Bible. Don't love some of the context that it's in the Bible and how it's being used nowadays. Definitely try and get yourself organic wine from not inside the United States. Definitely will help. And some people in the Telegram group chat finally got some sleep last night because they had a glass of wine. So it has, it has its ups and downs. We also have two crystals here and a white cat. We have the moon. Very nice. Very nice. Good message. Good message. Pile number four. Excellent. Here we go. 
the world card. Congratulations. Completion, harmony, accomplishment, achievement. The world card is the final card in the major arcana and represents inexorable change, an ending to a process or cycle. This card symbolizes balance and evolution and movement that is dynamic and ever-changing. If the world reveals itself in an upright position, it is showing that there is great unity and wholeness. Something big is happening soon. A marriage, a birth, new job, or something similar. Your efforts are being noticed, and you will soon reap the rewards. Congratulations. Congratulations. Very nice. Pile 2 is next. Here we go. Pile 2. We've got Neath. Perseverance, 26. We also got the heron over here. Very beautiful. Some, some floral energy. Definitely look up this goddess. More about perseverance. Whatever other hieroglyphic on this card that's pulling to you, definitely look into that more. The hieroglyphics are meant to speak to our soul. So when you walk through and we'll look at those hieroglyphics out there in Egypt, they're meant to capture a part of your soul and make you think a little more. We've got number four. Number four. The Four of Pentacles. Very nice. Security, conservatism, scarcity, control, restraint. The Four of Pentacles de depicts a person sitting on a stool holding tightly onto four pentacles. Once one is balanced on their head, one is gripped tightly between both arms, and two are under their feet. You've managed to accumulate a significant amount of material wealth after working very hard to get to the point where you are now. Be sure not to become overly greedy and hoarding your fortune. Without risk, there is no reward. Don't be afraid to jump into uncharted territory. Try a new venture. Invest in businesses or seek new opportunities. That's a lot of Taurus energy. We've got Virgo, Capricorn, and Earth energy. So you may be a little too earthly, earthy. You need to loosen it up. Obviously, have a little bit more hydration. Maybe hang out with some fire energy. It may help. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, indeed. Indeed. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. All right. I'm going to pull. I'm going to fix these a little bit. Get those nice. Get those back. Pile one, two, three, or four, you guys. One, two, three, or four. There you go, and make sure you set notifications to my channel so you can catch all my live streams wherever you're seeing this. It'll be worth it. I'm happy to do this again. I have many other decks that I'm going to bring to the collective so you can get a random card whenever you like. All right, I'm feeling guided again to pull from the random bag till somebody clicks asks for pile one, two, three, or four. Here we go. The feminist. Interesting, interesting. So we've got the feminist energy. Obviously there's mixed opinions about feminism and uh, that's meant to be. That card, that card is here for a reason. So we're going to just clear and uplift the idea of feminism and the purity and the purest intention behind feminism, which is respecting the goddess within us all, respecting Mother Earth, respecting our mothers, respecting our daughters and our sisters, and respecting how they flow. They have, they are different people every week, thanks to their cycle that they continue. It also brings me to the moon energy and also Venus energy. So that is we got some infinity here very nice whatever symbols you're drawn to in this card also i wouldn't recommend painting your nails if you can help yourself um, certainly is helpful in activating your abilities number three number three all right past life what past life are we dealing with war here we go we've got the war We've got warrior, conscripted, deserter, and trauma. So war's not so fun. Uh, we all know that. So if you have had a past life where you're dealing with war in this life, you may be processing that trauma and making better choices. So excellent choice for your past 
life card. Very good, very good. All right, I'm going to choose another crystal card. Number one. Oh yes, Garnet. That's who's sitting with me. I was working with Garnet today. This is, you know, not the nicely finished Garnet, but Ignite Your Passion. This is a card and a crystal about passion. Be sure that you're igniting your passion every single day. Remind yourself, what is my passion? And be sure that you're doing something along those lines and you'll be very happy and fulfilled through this life. Very good. And get yourself some garnet. I love it. It's very heavy though. Very awesome. All right. All right. Number three. You guys can ask for more than one card, by the way. Go ahead. I'll, I, it keeps the flow going. Share this stream out. If you want to keep, keep this rolling, share it out so we can keep going. We've got the psychic. Wow. Excellent card. Excellent card. So this is a past life. As a psychic, we've got High Priestess, Gypsy, Prophet, and the Astrologer. Wonderful card. Does not make sense. So in this life, you're processing this particular archetype, and it may serve you very, very well to carry on these skills in this life, which I know indeed it is. So congratulations. That's a wonderful card. Yeah, the raw garnet texture is wonderful. You may please have, you can have a, a card since you didn't specify. I'm just going to grab from the tarot. And you can specify what pile you'd like, of course, in the future. Here's for you. The seven of pentacles. Perseverance, diligence, investment, hard work. The seven of pentacles represents as a person, sorry, presents as a person leaning against a Ho gazing across the lush field. Their hard work has paid off and now they can enjoy the fruits of their labor. You understand the value of hard work and investing toward long-term goals. You're not interested in quick wins. The Seven of Pentacles is telling you to look at the bigger picture. You may be frustrated that some things are taking too long to come to fruition. Your efforts will not go unrewarded. You must remain patient. You may be still waiting for your harvest to be ripe, but guess what? Even in the fall, that's going to be happening. So autumn is maybe what I'm thinking. Again, we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Earth. Earth, the Earth is the pentacles. Very good message. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good cards. All right, which pile is next? Somebody throw out a number, one through four. Let's see what we get. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do another one from pile one. I'm the crystal queen over here. Ooh, we've got labradorite. See the magic, excellent. And I've got a lovely piece of labradorite here that stowed away with me. Was not meaning to be in my presence, but it's here with me. <laughs> it's been through many hands of a few friends, but here is a labradorite piece to share with this card and with this energy. This picture is amazing. What a wonderful piece. This piece is pretty awesome. We love this Labradorite piece. <laughs> Sometimes crystals find their way to you and you don't mean for them to. <laughs> and I'm happy to send it back whenever it's time to where it's supposed to go next. But working directly with crystals is an excellent tool. For your soul. All right, we've got number one next. Very good. Oh, we, we let's do a one. Let's do it again. Who's next? Chrysocola. Start fresh. So you're gonna start fresh in whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're dwelling on. Start fresh. Try it new. Take maybe a week off, and then you'll definitely have some ideas about how to kind of innovate, do it a little different, and play. Get back to playing. You started doing this thing because your inner child was into it a little bit at least for the most part. Play with it again. Okay, crystal cola. Wonderful crystal. Love crystal cola. Number four. The four of swords. We've got relaxation, meditation, darling, rest, contemplation, restoration, 
Four of Swords is a wonderful card to get. It is, shows a knight laying to rest in a tomb dressed in full armor. There are three swords on the wall above and one beneath the knight. The position of the fourth sword seems to indicate that the knight's flight, knight's fight has ended and they can finally rest. The upright four of swords is telling you to kick back and relax. Whether you are, you are emerging from battle or you've been putting in too much hours at work, you're overdoing it and need to take a breather. A period of rest will allow you to reemerge with renewed strength and focus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air signs, you guys get busy. It's time to take a rest and make sure you actually do that work to do a meditation. Sit there, close your eyes, quiet yourself, do the breathing, meditate, see how long you can stand sitting there. And I promise some interesting revelations will come through because they're just sitting there waiting just like everything else in your nervous system and your body. No time is wasted. Excellent. So picking a card, one through four, one through four. All right, let's pick from pile two. Who's next? Ooh, beautiful. Happy. Renewal. 25. Look at all this water energy. This is fantastic. I've actually not heard of this Egyptian god, so this is really cool. I see that there is like a little fish looking like fish guy in a pond maybe, even though they're next to a river. These symbols are fantastic. Whatever else on this card is drawing your eye, make sure that you look into it. Look into it. Very beautiful. Very nice. Great color. All right, I'm gonna pick from the random bag while somebody is picking one through four. Mm -hmm. Let's see who's out coming out next. Death, the death card, excellent. All right, death, there's an ending happening here. If you're seeing this card, there is something finally ending that is ready to be done ready to be done so you know what that's going to be fertilizer for the new you need to break things down so you can fertilize the new be sure be sure we've got the crows here you know when you are harvesting your fields you are killing the plants but it's good you know the harvest is there you're going to eat the sun is setting over here the day is done all of these things the day is done relax take it's over it's over you did it it's done, it's dead. It's dead, it's done. Okay, next card. You are enough is the next message. Very nice, good message, good message. Good message. All right, I'm gonna pick from pile three next. Here we go, the past life that you may wanna think about is the Maritimer. We've got explorer, fisherman, pirate, and Ocean Traveler, very beautiful. And I'm gonna flip this card over because there's actually information on the back. So you may also wanna consider the time frame of pre-Columbian Americas. You may wanna deal with the lesson of prophecy and gifts. You may have the, the gift of prophecy, but it's not always uh, butterflies and rainbows with that one. The death that you may be dealing with or tragic death is starvation or dehydration. You guys have to freaking hydrate. That's been coming through so much. The location you may want to do more research and meditation on is Asia. The trauma you may be dealing with is a guilty conscience. All right, so you need to forgive yourself and make it, make it right. Even if you're just paying it forward from now on, you're making it right. In the faith, we have forced conversion as a faith and an issue in your past life. So you may have been forced to convert to a religion that you don't want to be in. Tricky stuff. And we have the love theme, which is deceived or betrayed. So if you have ever experienced betrayal or deception with those you love, and this is kind of hitting you, Let's think about that experience again. Let's move through it again. You have to do that whole pono pono. I forgive you. I love you. I see you. I understand you, and I want to move forward. Let's do that. Very nice. Very nice. 
Last card and last call. I'm going to do one from every pile. Here we go. The King of Cups, Wisdom, Understanding, Focus, Balance, Peacefulness. The King of Cups depicts a king seated on a throne holding a fish-shaped amulet, which represents creativity. The King of Cups doesn't look at their cup and seems focused elsewhere. The King of Cups is telling you to use your emotions and impulses wisely with equity. Balance your wants with the desires of others and show that you are the sensitive leader that everyone needs. Be, be mature with negative energies. This is some Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and water energy, of course. If you've got this card, definitely look up this archetype more if you need. Past life card. Aha, we've got the diet card. Wonderful. So we have we have gluttony as a theme, Ve vegetarianism as a theme, fasting or deprivation as a theme. One's one's a choice and one is circumstantial. Nutritional or food issues. So if you guys got this card and you may be dealing with dietary issues, may I recommend the the lion cleanse? as a way to kind of get yourself reoriented for about a week and then start implementing whatever you feel guided to next and seeing how your body reacts to it. You'll be surprised. You may be reacting more intensely than you thought to things you thought you were fine eating. Um, not going to be able to eat many things like this anymore, but the berries on top, yes. So <laughs> just a note on that. We've got pile two. Number 34, Apophis, Apophis, another Egyptian god, the darkness, or the void, I assume, but the darkness. So let's dig into the darkness that maybe you've been kind of pushing away into the corners of your mind. You've been, you've been avoiding in your meditation. I would invite you to invite this darkness in because all is you and all themes are you. So whatever is coming through, play with it, experience it, draw it, look it up, listen to other people's stories about this, see what you can do. Ask, ask your soul to show you and guide you through processing this and creating creative, creative opportunities out of this darkness instead of fear. And from pile one. Appetite, very nice. I have one here we can we can work with. This is the final card unless someone mentions one right now, but we have the appetite crystal. Looks very good, very close, very similar here. You can see me in it a little bit. Hi. So get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. If you need to do so, grab one of these, you know. It'll help. It'll help support you while you're moving out of your comfort zone. Very nice. So for Tarot Tuesday, I wishing I'm wishing you all of the insights that you need to continue along your path and to get out of your comfort zone and push yourself a little bit. Listen to what's constantly being asked of you that you keep saying no to. That was a message I got this morning was I don't know if you've heard of the yes theory or the yes technique in a way, but it is a challenge that you can give yourself for a week or a day even, where when you instinctively want to say no to something, say yes and see what happens. Of course within reason, but really some of us often are saying no far too often, getting comfortable with the word no. And if it's not necessary, play with it and say yes and see what opportunities will open up. The world is full of opportunities and populating all different types of stories and, and, and experiences for you. And it may totally surprise you what you're saying yes to and you'll be so glad that you did. So what a wonderful card for the end of this video. Thank you again for supporting my channel hitting the notifications on my channel so you know when I'm uploading or going live 
and feel free to leave a comment about what card pile you liked or what deck you liked the most and let me know if there is any interest in further readings you can go to ascensiondiaries.com to book a, a reading with me a psychic medium I would happy to do the card readings for you and your issues as well as contact your beloved loved ones or more so I receive contact from them during your readings and get messages reassuring messages and kind of uh, being there for your inner child. So it's an honor to do this work. I love it from my heart to yours I'm wishing you a fantastic Tuesday and feel free to go to my YouTube channel and watch the most recent videos and I will see you again on the next live stream Goodbye everybody